say this, and I'll, and, I, and I'll always continue to say it, and there's gonna be moments where I'm gonna make a decision that you guys are not gonna agree with, but I've been doing this for a while, and I think that I've earned your trust, okay? I think that I, with this specifically, I think that I've earned your trust in, in the fact that patience is always gonna be key. Okay, but most importantly, and I don't remember saying this, but you guys keep bringing it up, it's something that I believe, the process of it. The process of, of building, the process of being patient, the process of doing things right and not rushing into shit just because the people demand you to. You know? Believe in them. Please trust the process. One way or another, I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna get you. One way or another, I'm gonna win you, I'm gonna get you. You get you one way or another I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna meet you One day, maybe next week I'm gonna meet you, I'm gonna meet you And I will drive by your house And if the lights are all down Then I'll see Who's around? Damn. They found us. Fucking better, huh? I got a shake. I've been trying to expand his contract for the past like six months, and just recently opportunities started to pop up left and right. I was a little bit, I felt a little bit pressured into stepping into, into, into the scene. The decision that I, that I was gonna have to make was pretty much to go against the optic culture. I was gonna have to acquire a team from Europe and have little to no contact with them. And that, to me that didn't sit well, but I was willing to do it because I wanted to expand into that. Shots and innocent. Well, he's gonna be the last left here. It's a one on three and Optic Gaming. They might just be one kill away from qualifying here for the E-League. Innocent trying to play around the uh, statue and seeing if he can somehow make it out. But you got to feel like even if he does, will it really make a difference in the long run? He's hiding in the corner and Dap's trying to check for every single part of this bomb side. He goes down. Nice shot from Innocent. That's a triple. He's looking for the quad. Stannis was right there. AK comes out, but Stannis is going to win the round. And 16-3. Optic. They've made it through. You do the honors to hand over the check to Optic Gaming. Give them a round of applause, guys. Unfortunately, we had some downs to begin with and some ups, right? Uh, the down was obviously the fact that Shazam was let go of the team. Uh, the future of Counter-Strike uh, for Optic and, and our Counter-Strike team, I don't know, we're gonna see. They just made they just made a team change. We brought in Mixwell, who is one of the best Spaniard uh, players. Considering the timer is getting lower and lower, they've fallen back behind a main to be able to set up the smokes now. As they've gone into the site, Mixwell getting a read on Zero's position perfectly. Takes one down, gonna move over towards NBK spot. Doesn't see the jump initially, but now adjusts his aim perfectly. Oscar, the only one that really catches anything significant on the site. That decision time. on a site take being made just as of yet either. Zero gonna move in, going for the split. It is gonna be a B take, but Zero has a good position, and there's currently nobody at the truck angle. So Zero, if he's quiet about this, he's gonna walk right in and have a huge angle advantage. Dropping down, trying to take the duel with Rush from CT, but it doesn't work out, and Rush finds the final two frags. That's gonna be it. Up to gaming, win things out 16 to 14. They're going to the major. On, but do find the shot on Blade. Watch the keen fire potential coming in as they line up and Rush gets two. It's all suddenly on to Markalov. He's got no Molotov from this position. He's already peeking it out and Mixwell spots him with the AWP. Optic will not give up the lead. They have a crossfire. Now they just choose to get aggressive and it works out. Rush gets one. Stan as well. Exist gets traded off and now. Oh, that's sick. Their Pith and Exist both fall at the end, so that's really well done from Optic out of the pause. That's beautiful. All right, well done, Optic. That was actually brilliant to watch. The, the guts of just going, all right, let's just take them straight up fights and assume we'll win them. But still, Optic 
hasn't really decided where they want to go. Everyone crowded to mid. Now they're going to come for this mid B split. It exists on top of the boxes. They spam it, but get right's on the other side. And now they're stuck between two NIP members. Just had so many chances to get the momentum back in their favor. And that, that's really where it ran away. And then obviously the three on five was that last ditch attempt. Uh, and, and that just didn't work out for Optic whatsoever. Yeah, that's, that's TSM, they're gaining momentum. You, they set up in the mid, and you see Karma yet again with the oh. Tempest, able to pick up three. Big kills, gets fully streaked out again. And if you are a oh, player God. not don't watching... Don't run to him! What? Just leave him alone! If you are a player not watching what the Tempest does and don't think about going Tempest over Annihilator, I think you're crazy, personally. Well, I mean, that was a tank streak for Karma, You see man. how many kills you can pick up with the Tempest, and Karma having a really good game wow. here early. It's going to be Optic no. game on a long flank. They didn't have success challenging it from the mid map, but potentially pushing from the defensive side of things could break this up. That's another one. It's four versus two. They're able to pick up one kill. All of a sudden, 2v2. They're picking them up. It's now four. Two.
perfect year sports team now. And I'm, I couldn't be happier. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna tell you why it's Gears and not Overwatch and why it's not a Smash player or something else. And the developers are like backing that game so much just makes me almost passionate, right? It's like, a, like, a, like an yeah. old Call of Duty type of scene that's just fiending to, to, to like be great, right? So there was an opportunity there. Yep. It made sense both financially and in terms of what we are planning on doing. Right, so so we attacked. We got the number one team. Yeah. They came from a team called Enemy. Enemy. And I couldn't be more happy than I am right now to happily say that we are now in three console esports. Well, here's the hunt. The piranhas looking for their prey. It's scumping crew getting forward. They're able to find one, but everybody cut down. And this is all you've got. Your flag carrier, Krim. It is done. Envious has taken it 3-1 over Optic Gaming in the first round here at COD XP. shift the conversation towards who Optic Gaming are going to potentially play next. As we saw in the bracket, it's going to be the loser versus uh, Rise Nation or Luminosity Gaming. Both teams where Optic have a rich history against, especially in the early stages of Black Ops 3. I mean, regardless of who they face, it's going to be a tough road ahead for Optic Gaming. Who do you think they would rather play? Rather play? Probably Luminosity. I, I think they match up better. Yes, they did lose to them at Season 2 playoffs, but Rise is one of those teams where they've just had back and forth battles the entire year. So if I'm Optic, I definitely want to see Luminosity. And Luminosity is such an emotional team where if they do lose, they're probably going to come in pretty down on themselves. On either side here of Mansion. EC Karma's going to fly out, not able to pick up one, but hey, if you're out there, you don't even need to contest this in the middle. I mean, it would be great to end the game here on this hard point, but you have control from Mansion as well. Scump and Formal just going absolutely massive here. Karma with a this very good game as well. It's going to be Optic Gaming taking map number one, 250-177. Perfect position here to shut down this push if they go in towards me. Scump, hello, two! Tries to knock LG down and he has done a spectacular job. Now one man stands and it will be Study who does not go down without a fight. But he's being hunted down and it will be Lightning. He strikes just once this time and it's all they need. Optic find themselves a search and destroy victory and all of a sudden things look good for the Green Wall. 18 seconds left on the clock. Optic with a nice lead. Nothing that Luminosity can do to get the drone right now. This is the Optic Gaming we've been waiting to see. So they're going to get a 3-0 here against Luminosity. Player not even recognizing Optic Gaming with the perfect break. See Karma set up on the inside. They just now need 17 more seconds, and they are going to be able to win. Map number one, you see Scump is called in that Hellstorm, able to pick up a kill on Assault. That's going to force all the players over on top. Greenhouse put everything in the kill feed on the left side. Going to be green. Formal inside the hill. Scump inside the hill. Krim as well. C9 needs to break through, or this game is going to be over. Last one on the line. Pops the camo, and that is going to solidify game number one. Far for score streaks away from his from his first one. Grim 6 though is able to catch Inks right in the back. Lays foot around the corner, waiting for the trade. And here it is, he just might get it. Doesn't shoot yet. So needs to pull the trigger. This should not happen. Grim 6 outmaneuvering two Cloud9 players in a situation where he should have been eliminated. Formal finds the final kill on Assault, and that's a round win that should have gone for Cloud9, but Optic Gaming took over. Strike first, getting that first blood force. Trades coming in. Formal putting the laser shot down. Oh. Gets Assault from Cross Map as well. Connects with both of those bursts, and Optic Gaming gonna be control that drone. That's two seconds here, probably try and line up for a one point play. Looks like he could very well sink it. The shot goes in and connects. Optic Gaming is up 4 1 into the second half, but again, back to that play from Cloud9. Looking around saying, all right, this has never happened before. I've killed too many of you. Please show up and let me kill more. On the H Street, calling in the Hellstorm. Has a lightning strike in the back pocket. 30 seconds left. He's just going for records here in Infection Uplink. You know you're in a good position when your biggest worry is, when is my next kill? Am I scheduled for an appointment in the next two seconds, or am I waiting for them to come off spawn again? Karma with the Tempest on mid-map. Cracks Ricky down from the skies. Optigaming looks like they're taking map number three in dominating fashion to go up in this series 2-1 in a map that we all knew was going to be heavily in their favor. This was a stomping from the Opti Gaming Juggernauts. Well, uh, if you're C9, I guess you can have the takeaway of we knew that was an expected result, but just look at that scoreline.
closer to destroy. And again, it came down to lace speed. You saw he picked up a three piece for the final four cam when Karma ended up he waving his teammate, accidentally so. And then of course that final round again, Lacefield. He picked up the ace, he won the first kinetic armor jump fight. So a lot very well be able to time this out. He's gonna check B one more time. Players aren't there. He knows exactly what he has to do. Looks like that bomb is gonna get planted though. We're gonna see how well Lacefield can do in this 1v2 situation. He was able to clutch a 1v3 earlier on Evac. This is definitely the player C9 wants in this situation. The player just on the bomb on a very nice spot though. Crimson. Gonna be able to win that gunfight. Out to gaming. Secures the round and ties this one up at 3-3. He's got two other teammates with their special abilities. Assault pops his, that's the psychosis. Moving scump around a little bit, he's not fooled though. Hold, hold the trigger discipline. Tag up a second player, can't finish the kill, that's Lacefield. Formal catches Ace. Ricky still with overdrive, they shut down Karma. Last man standing is Formal. Ricky pops the overdrive with just seven and a half seconds to plant. Can he get there in time? One round to decide it all. Stand. Two players' positions are now known. 53 seconds. Black jacket, perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with that. You can eat some nades and call through. It'll be fine. Players all the way in the back. You see a skull. the player that's watching. Where that B-bomb cross. He's able to spot one player. You know something's going on. You see C9 is aware. They are going on their rotation. They're going to be hitting as well. Assault's going to be coming over the top. Bomb player's going to die. Crim6 is going to stall as well. 2v4. Karma informal. You have your work cut out for you. 30 seconds. That bomb is down. C9 has a very nice setup as well. Formal's able to pick up one. He's not going to get traded out as well. Karma doesn't get the second. Player coming in challenge over top. Formal's going to be able to help him out. Karma going for the kill. Formal up to you. 1v1 situation. Assault coming over. And it's Congratulations, C9. Ix, two cut chance, back to back, takes down the green wall. Meet the newest and most recent villains of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, led by none other than Ix, Cloud9, closing out the series with our round of. Just got back from, uh, from the tournament. This one really, really, really hurt. Um, I, 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 I'm at a loss for words. You're, you're the favorite to win two years in a row. And you, I just, uh, you know, I don't want to say that we're cursed, but man, does it feel that way. Favorites to win two years in a row. Got knocked out. Oh, so bad. So, so bad. Um, there's really nothing, I mean, I feel so bad for the guys, man. I, I feel so, so bad for the guys. It's, uh, you know, they, they, they worked their asses off the entire year. They, they won the entire year. And for this to happen, like, it, 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 it is absolutely mind-blowing that, that, you know, but it is called the championships. So everybody there deserves to be there, and everybody that won has to serve a win. Uh, I'm not going to say that we deserve to win, because we didn't win. Who would have won? We would have deserved to win. is just optic to you guys is just a business that's out there to you guys is just a sports team that's that's competing right that you care about that you're passionate about so i completely understand i can never get mad at you right but you have to see it from my point of view that that i, I have to give the people that i live with people that i see on a daily basis that i have to give them every single opportunity they can to become what they're supposed to become and if that doesn't happen we have other avenues to help them make that happen you know so in that regard, having said that, I, I, I decided that we were going to be parting ways with, with, uh, with the current Halo Ross. Don't worry, we got this.
Bone 2 getting a kill on a Pistola. Frosty getting a kill as well. Looks like another player in front no. of the base. That's three dead. McQuinn also is going to be able to get one kill. He's going to be able to get another. Looks like he does get snake two. Bite, snake bite, go over to snake bite, flag. snake bite. He's oh down my god! Got it. We're going to overtime. We're tied up two to two. What a play. Old school style. H2 running the flag through bottom mid and going through the front window. Are you kidding me? Snake bite wow. so clutch. Wow, we got three minutes left wow. in the clock. In a pretty good situation where it's a two on two. However, Snipedown ends up touching it with that double kill. Looking for a possible triple here. Royal 2 is going to stop that one. However, I do think this is a good opportunity for Heavy to possibly get this flag triple here and put this one in. Maybe they can do what Lethal did to them and get that flag cap with only a couple more seconds here. Hook's going in with the flag. Can he get flag cap number one? Yes, he does. There is still hope. 33 seconds left. Envy has got to go clutch here. Royal 2's got the flag out, though, looking to close this out to get that third flag cap. Pistola's moving in. That's going to be one down for Optic Gaming. Pistola trying to stay alive in here. He does have a teammate with him. They are able to get this touch, but they've got to stay alive and get this flag out of here. Pistola throwing some cover grenades to a player pushing in, but he's going to fall. Snakebite will go down, though. We've got Lethal looking to... Pick up this kill on Snipe Down, playing ring around the Rosie. Snipe Down does get the flag out. He's got Hook here. Hook That's does it. make the trade, but no, they're not going to be able to. Time was of the essence, and Optic Gaming is going to win the finals here, four to zero over Team Envious. And what a series it was! Congratulations, Optic. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, Lethal, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know who's taking it home exactly, Frosty. but uh, Frosty, Frosty, I guess then. Here you go. I guess local, you get the, the local trophy. Optic Gaming coming to ESL1 New York as the final confirmed team after besting an informed Cloud9 in the qualifier. Returning Stanislaw will look to justify his position, whilst recent acquisition Tarek will hope he can assist Mixwell by putting up some significant figures. Optic will know the whole outfit has to step up if they are able to make it to the semis, but will they be able to deal with this level of competition? Up, they realize they don't have any grenades, so Ashana is holding back. 22 seconds, the bomb is going to be going down four versus three, and this this is the round for Optic. If they want to close out this game, they've got to do it right now, otherwise, they could let Astralis right back in and even out the scoreline. Kerrigan holding the sniper nest on the top and actually looking both ways right now. He's going to miss the shot, but Stan's going down. Kirby picking up two massive kills, and Kerrigan taking out Mix while it's all on Tarek. He's going to get one kill, and now up on the box, down towards. He doesn't have a kid picked up, and Kerrigan's right on the other side with the M4. If he misses the shot here, Terry, that's going to be it. He's going to get it. Oh my god, what a jump in. Has to run and pick up the kit and falls back over. Does he get it? I think he is going to get it just in time. It's going to be so close, but it looks like they've claimed that Optic win a, such an important gun round there. from the semi-finals, an opportunity to not only continue to surprise us here at the desk, but also another storyline is going on alongside that. Still through connector and Stanislaw ready, just wants to see them make contact and immediately deploy that smoke now when they push through. He's got a line up, two down, reads it like a book that they're going danger. And three kills, no way out of the trap. Eventually, as Virtus Pro will overwhelm, but job done. It may give a gun to Taz, but they've got now a two-man advantage to work with, and Rush has pushed up accordingly. Taz is going to walk right into this, surely. They don't have the utility to check it. In fact, they don't even get that far. Nav's got the kills. There's no movement at all. Bomb's still going back toward A, though, because they think this is the opportunity for a split. Nav's done them a job, and it's going to be followed up as Tarek finds two. Well, I guess Virtus Pro haven't been showing their hand too heavily towards that area. They've been focusing very much towards drop down and the A bomb side itself. So, Optic with the... Very unorthodox setup. It works out for them as well. 
Lovely shot as Snacks will go down. Taz. Nah, if he's so low, but he sprays back through the very fragile stables, and it's going to be the kill, but Furtis Pro's got two in response. It's on Tarek. One versus three. AWP, bomb down, and he's completely surrounded. One from all three angles, and Neo, he'll close it out. Furtis Pro go through, but just barely. And you've got to credit Optic for an incredible day of Counter-Strike, because they knock out G2, they knock out Astralis. No one thought they were even going to get the spot. Pretty much since the game has come out, my teammates and I have been pretty much the dominant team. A couple weeks ago, we won the Invitational without dropping a map. And ever since then, like we've pretty much gone on to win almost every single online tournament that's happened. Strategy and practice-wise, to stay on top, my teammates and I are pretty much going over VODs every night. I'd probably consider us one of the most like composed teams in the game right now, if not the most composed team. Uh, I'm sure everybody else knows that too. You guys have never beat us, and I'm positive that you never will. You guys are way too inconsistent, barely even considered a top team. You guys are actually a joke, to be honest. The rivalry between Optic Gaming and Envy, guys, this isn't a four storyline. This isn't us. You know, uh, writing a script, this is genuine. If you guys have watched Explosive Stream, you know how hyped he gets. Okay, they're gonna get that right there. And yeah, Franchise is even back up. He can't take this 1v2 against Lava and Mental. But Explosives just went and beat single-handedly and destroyed both of them. And he is going off. He single-handedly went in there and destroyed both of them. He's gonna come, he's gonna up a hop around, and Lava actually made it in. And Summons is gonna be the boom pickup, but his teammate died in the middle. He needs to be aware of that. That's gonna be a double boom there by Summons. Can he get another double? He's gonna pick up three kills right there. He needs to get in there. They need to get towards that F field right now. Explosive is good. He can put this weak. He is not hiding it down explosives that could be costly. Rift needs to fly. They need to go. The F Hill is not going to be acquired. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming, your Gears of War 4 MLG Invitational Champions. You guys are going to be back next month at the uh, Columbus event. Is there anything particularly you're going to practice on? Or did you find any weak points in your game here, particularly? Well, to be honest, after this week, I don't really see that many weak points, but. We're obviously gonna scream every night, do our thing. That's about it. Let's get map number one underway. Optic Gaming versus Team Envious. Envy are gonna be on Blue Arrows. Optic Gaming, the red. Be careful not to spread themselves too thin right now. Optic, they're taking back their home as we see the B push coming on through Toy. He's so full red. Can he stay alive for much longer in the back though? He lost two of his teammates. So now he's in trouble. He's in a 1v4 and just like that, Mental takes him out. Now Optic in full control of the map. Here comes the cavalry for the green wall. Applying pressure on Envy's home hill. As it stands, they just need to hold that hill neutral. They don't even necessarily need to go for the trick at Toy. Soldier though, trying to make it happen, will he be able to? Don't think so, the game about to be tied. E&D, Coley B, Cappy by Envy, will they be able to get the E-Hill in time? I don't think so, I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Right. They're going to score, 2 away. up to gaming, caught up when they need to. And they now find themselves 5-2 to two up. Great, if they get a break, they win. Oh my goodness, 200 apiece here. Ribs and Solar pick up kills. Lava takes out Solar. And now it's up to Lava. He's gonna get taken out. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Optic Gaming. Win a whole one. Optic Gaming is your MLG Columbus champion and a nail fighter on the last round. Can you believe it play? They were down 2-0 in the first series and they reverse swept 2-0 straight. Congratulations to Optic Gaming in what was a historic inaugural Gears of War Pro Circuit event. Winning Elite Season 2 would mean 
big things for North America, like the back on the map, the what you want a tournament. We've proven people wrong plenty of times. You know, people will predict us to, you know, come into a tournament. We won't be able to do anything. People didn't predict us to make it out of groups coming into this tournament. We have tons of confidence right now. NA is on the rise and they're not to be trifled with. You guys can have your opinion, but we're going to prove you wrong. It's okay. Optic can win E-League Season 2 for sure. Stand there to take care of business, and that grenade definitely not supposed to go on the train, but it doesn't matter at this point. It's going to be on Dennis. He goes down to the corner, and that's 16 to 7 in favor of Optic Gaming to take away train here. What could also be at play here for Optic, though, is that they know that FaZe is their low economy right now. They're not going to have all the grenades, the Molotovs, the HEs, the anti-rush grenades that we talk about on the CT side to stop the terrorists from getting out there so quickly. Again, Tarek not respecting. This is the key here, is that Optic are showing no respect for FaZe. They're just charging in, so I'm putting as much pressure as possible on. Mixwell finally down, but it's uh, from a quad kill into a triple kill for Tarek here. Balls are clear right now, so they should be able to back off this site fairly safely. Mixwell's gonna find the shot long range on Rain, and he takes down Alu as well, so it's Kerrigan, who is individually struggling. There's no fake into this, he hits another one, takes out AC, Nakamai's gonna be going down for Terry. he can't be stopped, he's looking for more, he's gonna get the quad kill, I can't believe it! Yeah. The rest of FaZe are showing up, Rush wants to make it around the corner, he's gonna get one, then the double that leaves Kerrigan and AC, two versus three here, the bomb about to go down as well on the other side, AC with a good kill, but he's gonna get dropped, Rush picking up a triple kill, and that leaves Kerrigan, one versus two, and this one is gonna be for the grand finals, Kerrigan has to move through here and try and see if he can get them into overtime, but he has no idea where they're playing from either. Although the free fire through the smoke, unbelievable. Not gonna get it, Kerrigan. It was so close, but Nafly will do it. He gets the final kill. Optic secure the spot over their longtime rivals, Phase Clan, for the grand finals up against Astralis and the Danish team. Here they're coming through, rushing around the backside. In fact, Nafly running out of bullets. He's still gonna pick up another kill with the pistol. Kevy running right into it. And again, we're down to 30 seconds. Great kill coming in. Tarek taking out device. And Dupree will fall as well. Glaive, the last one left. And Nafly, he goes for the spray. He's gonna get the quad kill. And Optic picking up a second round. Very well done. Pistols here, along with the device gate of a Zipix getting caught. And Tarek, what is that? That spray transfer. So sick. So good, but still. What if he turned around and got the kill? This oh. Kevin going down. What a shot from Nafly. Pretty much closes out the round. Oh, what? Nafly! It's a 4 and 4, but Kevin could have maybe even got the double kill. Now Nafly's down here. The hero of Optic Gaming. He goes for the spray, catches the free perfectly. Follows up with a headshot on Sipnix. This guy in the grand finals, 34 kills now. He just needs another couple and they will have that trophy. It's gonna be Kevy and Glaive left with over a minute, but in a two on four, spray comes through. Rush gets a kill, and ladies and gentlemen, Optic Gaming, the winners of E League Season 2. Cinderella story like we've almost never seen it before. They seem a bit lost right now, but they are gonna go for the push after all. It is delayed. Hellraisers, everything on the line now to Tarek. Ruthless sprays down two. Bonnick and Styko will pick up a kill, but then Rush is still alive on the site. He's gonna get the final kill of this map. 16-10 scoreline in the end for Optic, and they're going through to the major at the end of January. Uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another another piece in the puzzle for this team. Not only making it to the major, but you know, getting out of groups and then getting legend status is like super imperative for us at this at this moment in time. It's all about it's all about the steps you take to get somewhere, and, and right now that's our next step, uh, making it to legends so we don't have to compete or try to qualify for the next major. Just being invited to it is going to be amazing, um, and hopefully this is going to be the first time that, that we can make it into Saturday Sunday. Um, which means that there's going to be, you know, a lot more opportunity to get different stickers. And that's always a fun thing. Beginnings were humble for Optic.
But key trades have seen them blossom into a North American team, not only capable of the odd upset over European teams. Victory in E-League Season 2 was a shock for many, but Optic beat opponents on their own strong maps. Based around the talents of Spanish AWP star Mixwell and famed North American rifler Tarek, suddenly Optic are a team ready to challenge even Europe's top sides. He's gonna push in, shut down the bomb, and it's the flick out of the second one! They did spot the boost, they'll know both are toward water. PK's gonna try and wrap on that. He's lowering needs! Mixwell with an incredible shot! That's all on Tarek, he's gonna get one kill, and now up on the box, down towards, he doesn't have a kid picked up, and Kerrigan's right on the other side with the M4. If he misses the shot here, Tarek, that's gonna be the Las Vegas, Optic. With his streaks, able to pick up one. One play from Vegas, been able to sneak around back. That's a good point going Bay from Optic Gaming. 25 points away, and they will make the comeback. Streaks being used perfectly by Scump. The first gun fight won again by the green wall. Scump turns around. He's got help from Crim6 and crew. Is this going to happen, Chance? 248 to 235. FaZe has one final push. Entry kill by Enable. Karma can't answer back. Zuma and crew storming on in. FaZe have done it. 250 to 238. And oh my god, this series does not disappoint. The height away from Placer, and he's realizing Optic Gaming are here, and somehow two kills for FaZe. Krim answers with one of his own. Optic Gaming into two versus three. They're gonna back on him. Karma will challenge. Two versus two. There's one player just on the other side. Krim6 gets the kill as well. It's a 1v2. Placer by himself. He's pinned in the corner. One on one. Karma gets the kill. And look at Scum in the camera's face. Optic Gaming, no, the shot call works out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Crimson's trying to stay alive, he's able to pick up one. He checks the cleans the bump just seven seconds away, and FaZe is going to take it down, and that is not enough. Optic Gaming, they have to sprint it the hill, and that is your game. Ladies and gentlemen, FaZe Clan taking down Optic Gaming three games to one. That sets the tone for this year of Infinite Warfare.